Good morning to all this chef haul. Um, today I'm going to share with you another exciting recipe. I'm going to share with you spaghetti put on list using Wonder Mint. First of all, we need to have these a little slices of garlic and an onion. Secondly, you see some celery and carrots over here. So let's get cooking. We slice our garlic, then we have our onion. Um, if you can't get a red onion in your country, or probably you can get any um, yellow onion or just brown onion. So horizontally, we slit the onion. Then we have a little vertical cut onto the onion. Cut it as it like one centimeter away. This is how nice um, a French cutting skill is. So for the carrot, uh, when it is this much longer, so you cut it into smaller pieces, cut it sliced thinly, about 1 cm thickness. So you have it long sliced. So now you dice the carrot. Gently but surely, that all the carrot are diced equally. And lastly, and dice it as needed. Back to our cooking. So as you can see, we do have our wonder meat over here and we do have some cans of few plum tomato, basil leaves. These we need to crush it and bring into the sauce later. This is how we're going to mix our wonder meat. First of all, drop all the wonder meat mix into a mixing bowl by adding adequate amount of water and oil. Then using a spatula or a spoon, mix all ingredients together. Next thing you need to do is to drop the wonder meat mix in through your chiller and keep it for 30 minutes. Upon after all, take it out and cook as you wish. So now we turn on our stove. Give it like three spoonful of oil. First thing first is in cold oil, we drop in our sliced garlic. So long you see it is popping up and the flavor is coming up. Next, we drop our onion onto it. And now we need to turn on the heat, make it the maximum heat so that you can sweat the onion as soon as possible. And next, we drop our celery onto it after the onion has been caramelized. Give, give a good sweat to the vegetables so that all the extra moisture has been taken out and retain only the sugar or the fructose or the vegetables onto it. Next thing we can put in is our diced carrot. So after a good seven minutes of sauteing the vegetables, it now has become caramelized and softened. And now it's the time to drop in our precious wonder meat into it. So well of the vegetables together with wonder meat so that it absorbs the sweetness from the vegetables. Now it's time to drop in your pure plum tomato. The reason using wonder meat is because it cooks so fast. At the moment, you see the wonder meat coagulate and combine with the vegetables, it means wonder meat is cooked. Upon the wonder meat has blended well with the sauté vegetables, now we can drop in our peel plum tomato. It's normally that you buy the peel plum tomato from supermarket so that it works less burden on your side. Now as you can, as you can see, the sauce has boiled up. We can drop in our salt, pepper, and we got this nicely plucked basil leaf that you just crush it with your hand and you wrap around it. Then you can drop it onto the Wonder Meat Bolognese sauce. So now you can turn down the heat and simmer the sauce for a good 20 minutes. So as we are simmering our Bolognese sauce, burgundy, brown and yet nicely juicy. The benefit of using Wonder Meat is just so good because it works well, it cooks well in just 20 minutes. So next, we're going to blanch our spaghetti over here. We are going to cook the spaghetti for 10 minutes. When you drop the spaghetti into the water, make sure that you add in a little bit of salt. While keeping ourselves for the next step, I'm going to experience the cooked spaghetti with the bolognese sauce. Small heat spoon of oil into the pan. 
So when we have our spaghetti blanched, let's put some bolognese sauce into the pan. Heat it up and let's toss our spaghetti right from the pot. It's always good to give a bit of the pasta sauce or the pasta water into our spaghetti. As you're cooking it, flip over the spaghetti coat by the sauce. We toss most of the spaghetti that's coated with the sauce and let it have a good flip. Last but not least, drop some cheese powder onto it, which is grated parmesan, in fact, to give it much more creamier taste to your spa spaghetti with Wonder Mint. And here you go, spaghetti bolognese of Wonder Mint. We cook it just swiftly nice. Last but not least, we have some chopped parsley. This chopped parsley, you can chop it ahead and absorb it with a kitchen towel, dry it up. Put it on top of the spaghetti bolognese by Wonder Mint.